Hello everyone, True Zero Emissions here. Look what came in the mail today. It says order and it will come like today. Prime. Amazon Prime. I'm so excited. I still remember when I didn't think I was smart enough to use Amazon. Would you believe that? I've never even heard someone say that before, but I was intimidated by Amazon. I'm like, what's Amazon? How does the internet work? How does cell phones work? I was like the last one to get a cell phone. Would you believe that? And I'm someone who loves electronics and how circuits work. I don't understand it either. They say humans are very contradictory. There's an example. Um, so what did I get today? Wolf King GTR recently purchased from Voro Motors in Panorama City, California, and I highly recommend that place. They have great customer service. You can test ride the scooters there. It's so important to test ride scooters before you buy them. There's no way to emphasize enough how important that is. I used to look at scooters and I would literally just look at them and go and see how I felt about how I looked when I looked at it. How do I feel emotionally, right? My teachers would say, we humans make their decisions based on emotion, primarily. We primarily make our decisions based on how we feel about things. Wow. If I could have test ridden scooters before buying all the scooters that I've had, it would have changed. I would have been where I am today years ago. And I'm not kidding. Years ago. Because... I would look at a scooter and go, I like how that looks, I like that, that looks good to me, and then I'll watch reviews and see what people say about things. But still, I, have, I am not personally experiencing it. We're all different, right? We all have different tastes, different preferences, different things we like. Um, you know, one of the things uh, I would ask people advice on is how to set up, set something up like suspension and things, like tuning things, right? And I noticed, like in, in the racing industry, like for remote control cars, I would ask someone, how should I set up my car? And they would always tell me, um, this is, I'm talking about one eight scale uh, electric RC cars, right? One eight scale dune buggies and trucks and short course trucks, things like that. Every single pro expert, they always said, it's to your preference, Joseph. It's to your preference. Essentially what I felt like they were telling me was I have to learn all the things about what adjustments make this, the, the vehicle, the, the remote control car, how it affects it on the track and then make a decision based on knowledge I have of how to adjust things. It's a different language. It's learning a language, right? It's like learning a language. Okay, so I have no idea why I went down that, that tangent I just went down. I have no idea. Uh, but I will tell you this. Today, Wolf King GTR, look what came in the mail. And one day, I ordered this this morning. This was free, free shipping and free same, same day shipping, right? You know what that is? You know what's in the box? When I ride my scooter, a lot of people use mirrors. And my favorite mirrors are mirrors that, that come out the sides here, like when they come out the sides. But the handlebars are already so wide, I can hardly fit the scooter through my door. And I'm not kidding. I literally have to like turn the handlebars. It, it, I can't just go straight through. I have to like lean it, turn the handlebars, and, and come in this way, and then lean it this way, and slide it in. And that's it doesn't actually fit straight through my door there. And that partly is because this thing's not letting the door open all the way. It's part of the reason, right? So, but I need that there, right? So, like, I, that's just how everything's set up here. But, uh, and this thing can't be moved over, right? It, 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 well, may, maybe it can. That, that could be an option. I, I might have just found a solution to letting the door open further. I'm going to work on that. Although this thing is screwed into the wall, so I'll, that'll be a, a, a challenge there. But going back to the scooter... And, and just to let you know, there's going to be many tangents on the on our journey here down the road. But that's life, right? They say we get somewhere by going like this, right? It's just how things work. So uh, I was thinking riding the scooter, mirrors, right? I'm like, okay, I, I want to see behind me. I have this little mirror on the helmet here that that I use, right? This little mirror here. And it, and it lets me see, like, headlights, like if there's a car there. But what if they don't have their headlights on, right? And, and, and the area of sight is so small, and if that, and the vibration, that thing will sometimes turn a little bit, and then I don't know if I'm looking behind me or not. It's not, I don't feel it's as it's, it's reliable as I prefer. Um, so I'm thinking, you know, could I put mirrors on here? A lot of people put mirrors on here. Now mirrors, they make some nice mirrors that go up here, that can go above the grips. I kind of always like the ones that went down here. I don't know if you call them drop downs. They make some really nice mirrors, though, some really neat ones. And it's kind of like that cafe racer uh, look, right, where the mirrors drop down and come down here. But one of my thoughts was on my car, I have something that I received as a gift approximately one year ago, which is called the Wolf Box, and I'm going to call it a dash cam because it has cameras on it. It's a rear view mirror. It, it attaches to the front of your rear view mirror, right? It's, it's, and it's a screen that's longer than the mirror, which I like. I like that. I, I like really long, big screens. 
Uh, I actually wish the whole dashboard on a car was a touchscreen, the whole thing. Uh, and that's just, uh, you know, that's just how my imagination it, it desires that, like to, to just have a touchscreen everywhere. You can kind of slide menus around and things like that. I think that'll come someday. I don't know how long it'll be. Uh, but uh, if I ever build my own micro mobility uh, uh, pod car, <laughs> maybe I'll have that put in there. <laughs> but that would probably make it cost a lot more too. But going back to the scooter, and again, we're going to go on tangents here. I'll try to stay on the road. I'll try to stay on the, on the straight road here. But we're going to keep going like this. So, so here's the scooter, and uh, I recharged it recently with the with the with the uh, Roger charger. You can just look up Roger charger. He he rides EUCs, electronic unicycles. That's a, up to 135 volt, 15 amp charger. And I'm really happy with it. It has two dials where I can actually control the amperage and the voltage myself. And the way it works is, is uh, basically we put the, the amperage dial, um, we put it in the middle. So like, look, I'm gonna turn it all the way counterclockwise. It stops there up, right? And then if I turn it clockwise, it stops there, right? So which that's about, uh, what time would that be? Around 10, 10 o'clock? Okay, so there's 10 and there's 12. So we put it somewhere in the middle. So between those two it might be around what, five, around five o'clock. Put that in the middle when it's not plugged into anything, and then plug it into the wall, and then set the voltage. And there's there's two uh, screens here. We set the voltage to uh, so the top one's the voltage and the bottom one is the current, and we set the voltage to one volt above what our battery is at. And please confirm this with watching uh, Roger's videos, okay, because his, his example was if you have a 100 volt battery, he sets the voltage at 101 volts. So we just set it one volt over. That way it'll charge the battery. That's my understanding. So I set, the, this is an 84 volt battery when it's fully charged. So I set it to 80, I set that to 85 volts and then it's still not plugged into the battery yet, right? It's just plugged into the wall and we have our current setting in the middle. So that's in the, between the two extremes. And then the voltage, we set it to our desired voltage, which is one volt more than the battery is at. And then we can, and then we can go ahead, and once the voltage is stable and staying right there at one volt be above the battery's voltage, then we can turn the current. Uh, the next step is to turn the current all the way down, counterclockwise, right, all the way down, right? And then the voltage will drop. And when it drops all the way, to the, to until it stops going down, then I go ahead and plug in the, the the, the charge plugs and on this one I made two plugs right and that's called parallel these are this is one plug going the two two different wires and I checked the polarity of everything like I can't even tell you how many times probably more than 30 or 40 times I just keep checking it I take a break come back check it again I don't ever want something to be backwards and I can I, sometimes I'll repeat a mistake and I'll think I, it's not a mistake so I that's why I take a break and come back to something and check it again so uh, <clears throat> so so the once we plug it in to the do we go ahead and plug in the the charger right on this on this scooter it's he's really nice look at these charge ports see we no longer have those just the metal pins sticking up right remember those metal pins and if you and they used to be on the side on some scooters and and if you crash over there it can knock those pins together and you have an explosion right because a spark is an explosion uh, uh that's what's been explained to me by electrical engineers is that a spark an electrical spark is an explosion it's a literal explosion so so instead of having that explosion danger there we now have this great safety i want to thank cabo for doing that and just look how nice this all is this is such a nice scooter uh, this is the ultimate ultimate scooter the number one scooter to me in the planet that's mass produced right now um some people like the the rion and the weep head and and those are uh, from what i'm told those take a really long time to get like a year to get if you order one and um i actually like this one better because the price is so much lower <clears throat> and not just because of that but because I actually like it. I like having front suspension. Um, I don't know if the Rions have front suspension, but I know they have a special front tire that helps it to be smooth. But, um, you know, that scooter's a lot, lot more money. So it's kind of not, <clears throat> it's not, um, uh, I don't know. I don't know what it is. I just, I like the scooter a lot. I mean, where would I get that worked on? I also don't know that. Like I, I, I have a relationship that I'm building with Warrell Motors because I go to them and I, I buy scooters from there. And uh, they have great customer service, and I recommend them. I tell everyone to go there. When I'm riding the scooter, people ask me where did I get that. I say Bora Motors, Panorama City, California. Uh, I might just put flyers on this thing that I can just hand out because everyone wants to know where to get it and where can it get worked on. And I love to be able to answer those two questions because I used to point people in the direction of the internet, internet sites to go to where they can buy things. But if something broke, they would not have a place to go to have it worked on. And there's a lot of bike shops that were telling me they get like over 40 calls a day turning away 
micro mobility scooters uh, and, and unicycles the electric unicycles and this, this electric skateboards because they don't work on them they only work on bicycles right so this may change in the future where bicycle shops start working on more things because I'm seeing some bicycle shops doing more electric bikes now and so maybe eventually it'll include the scooters I don't know though that might just have to be a new business uh, new businesses an opportunity for new businesses to specialize in all micro mobility including electric bikes uh, so, but, but Voro Motors works on what they sell, so if you buy a scooter there, they'll work on it. I don't know if they'll work on something that you didn't buy there. That you would have to ask on a case-by-case -case basis. But I do know that if you buy your scooter there, they'll take care of you. So I do know that. Um, uh, where are we now? Oh, I think I'm going to make a new video because I'm so excited <laughs> about what's in this box. And I talked about so many things right now. I'm going to come back and talk about this in a video by itself. Okay, and I'm going to just focus on that. I'm going to really try to. Because I'm just so excited about the scooter and about all the things that are happening with the scooter and that charger. And, and but look, look what this is. What do you think that is? Next video coming soon.